And now U.S. has imposed sanctions against Chinese companies and individuals allegedly involving the persecution of Uyghur people and other ethnic and religious minorities in China's Xinjiang province. The Joe Biden-led government also sanctioned two Chinese officials over the alleged links to Hamas, pardon me, to human rights abuses. According to the U.S. Treasury Department's Office of Foreign Assets Control, the sanctions applied to Gao Xi, a former police chief at the Kazakh Autonomous Prefecture in northern Xinjiang, an official from the Communist Party's United Front Work Department. U.S. says that it has banned the officials from entering the country and further adding that they have frozen their American assets while also barring any American citizen or anyone located in the U.S. from dealing with their property unless they had permission from the office, which is hard to obtain. Moreover, financial institutions and other people who provide money or goods to either Gaoshi or Huliane could attract secondary sanctions by the U.S. Now, Washington also slapped sanctions on three more Chinese companies, accusing them of recruiting and exploiting people of ethnic minorities through their labor practices. And one of the three companies sanctioned by the U.S. is involved in sugar production, while another is involved in textiles. The third company deals in electrical supplies and battery accessories. Now, in response to these sanctions, Liu Pengyu, a Chinese embassy spokesperson in Washington, said that China condemns the U.S. sanctions. And that the spokesperson said, and I quote, such acts interfere in China's internal affairs. Now, this also violates the basic norms governing international relations and seriously undermine China-US relations.